Hello, my name is Mark Rikos and I'm an artist. For some time now, these two words have been wavering in the mouths of those who dare to pronunciate them. I'm an artist, but why should they waver? Because like a sugar cube caressed by coffee, the term content creator takes over. Product, sales, plays, views, posts, content, disgust. This is the beginning of my story. Depressed, angry, tired, anxious, talented, misunderstood, undervalued, ignored, belittled, and disappeared. It's been a while since I rarely exist on social media. People ask me, are you dead? What's up with you? I don't know anything about you. And no, my friends, I have not died. I've been missing, yes, but the truth is that I've been incubating, curating energy as well as disappointment, incubating fantastic ideas as well as depression, incubating happiness as well as despair, incubating art as well as trying to please someone unknown and change this, put that on the first five seconds because people consume music like this nowadays, everything has to be in the fucking fifth sec, trying to please everyone except myself. child starts playing the guitar, he dreams of playing like his idol, that cool egotistical guy that moves his hands creating magic with them. The child plays and plays and plays. He cannot stop. He feels love for creating. It's a drug, the best of the drugs. But one day, the child stops being a child and becomes an adult. <laughs> big word, the great disease, the worst of drugs, and the greatest virus of humanity appear right in the epicenter of his dreams and illusions, money. And that's how the corruption begins, the corruption of that child who played for his own amusement and for those who enjoyed it. And he starts thinking about money, about fame, about followers, plays, but not about music anymore. Friends, I have been making music for God knows how many years now. And honestly, I may probably be one of the few small artists that you know that try to create real art, that has tried in every song to contribute something different. Something new. To make songs you haven't heard before. To change styles, to twist everything. To mix rock with R&B. With pop. Deep, deep, deep. Moons and spring with hip hop. My good mama is kind of wrong. She thinks that all my friends are. I have always tried to create something unique with better or worse results, but that's how it is. But for many years now, I haven't been as happy as I could artistically. I feel like I constantly clip my wings till I manipulate and destroy brilliant and genuine ideas to make something that technically should be more liked by people. But the problem is that I don't like it. Underneath this school, there's a human, a person who has been carrying a big dilemma for years now, and it's trying to please someone, but who I have no idea but it's not myself. And years ago, when I already had some skill and started creating some good quality music, I was my idol. I made music to play, to have fun, 
to enjoy myself and for some time now I haven't been myself. Finally, after many struggles, dilemmas and even existential doubts, I've said enough. I'm tired of doubting, I'm tired of not being myself, I'm tired of seeing that I have talent that I've been working on for more than half my life and it's there, hidden, for fear of being too different and for absurdly believing that I should be just another one. And I'm tired of not releasing anything, not releasing my true music, not releasing my real ideas, my real personality, my real genius. I'm tired of not existing. I wanna be myself, with my weird tastes, with my flaws, with my issues, because there are many songs that I've released that I never listened to because simply they are not me. They are not what I want for and from myself. And some of you love them, but I don't. So from now on, I'm gonna be fucking me. I'm gonna do what I will damn please. And I'm gonna start releasing a lot, a lot of music. Stay tuned because Mark Rico's finally smiling and excited can say, I'm back. Yeah.